Okay, 10 minute zero game. Just practicing what we know. Okay. Nothing else, just what we know. And that then doesn't take us out of our zone. Let's just push here. And I am actually castling. I know he's going to be looking for the cheap stuff with the queen and the bishop type malarkey. That's okay. I'm actually going to see if he wants to open up. Maybe we can put pressure on there with the rook. If he takes, I don't think he's going to now. He's taking his time. Wants to elevate the knight. Okay, so he's putting a bit of thought into his game. Interesting times. So I'm actually going to bring my knight into the game. I'm not going to capture him just yet. And I'm actually going to attack his knight. I'm actually going to, woohoo, maybe not, let me see, I might not do any of that, you know. I might not do any of that, I'm going to bring it back. Yeah, let's just push here. Obviously I don't want to tangle myself up, but um, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's looking for this, but he might still go for it. He's definitely wanting to try and push through the center as well, but castling is a key thing, so he's not doing that, so he's not sorting his bed out just yet. Let's take this bishop off the board. Let's attack this knight. So he wants to open up. Yeah, don't fall for that sort of situation. Yep, okay, just bear that in mind. Let's attack this knight here, attacking the pawn as well. So he does move, let's open up the space in the centre if he's going to, the knight is there as well, does take, does take, king takes, put a check on, could have actually taken this pawn here, that was a missed opportunity really wasn't it, that was a missed opportunity going too fast, let's take this, get the rook in the middle of the board, or the rook isn't going in the centre of the board, Interesting times. Let's just push here. Trying to create some havoc around this centre. It's a bit of a thinker, so he's not really wanting to take stuff now. He's like, ooh, what just happened there? I think he's just going to come and support. Oh, interesting. Let's go. Oh, I was just about to move that then. Oh, wrong place. Ah! Oh, damn. Is, is Bishop going to take of me? I put it in the wrong place. Uh, the Bishop can defend, so there's no point in actually moving there, is there? Yeah, he's going to be kicking himself or herself now. Let's take. That's a bit of a blunder. And my Rook is in the centre of the board. It has no place. I'm going to get trapped. It has no... Now his bishop's getting in position to trap me. Rook's defending. Yeah. That's not too good for my rook. What else can I do? Let's attack this pawn. Oh, he's definitely wanting to trap my rook in there, isn't he? Whoa. Let's get a double dose on this. Bishop comes back to defend, obviously. Or, in fact, it could go here, couldn't it? Blocking my rooks in. My rooks are, like, trapped in the middle of the board. <laughs> oh, no. I've trapped my own rooks. Only one that... Oh, he's attacking our pawn. Oh, but if we... Oh. If we did this... Then his rook takes, rook takes. Then he comes down for the pawn. Oh, I don't like them apples, really. So I'm going to have to just let him out, um, let him come down and defend the pawn. I suppose we can push the pawn here. I think there's going to be major sacrifices. What's the worry? Yeah, he's got pawn majority on this side. 
so that's a key thing my rooks are trapped in the center of the board so in real in real terms i don't think i should ha have any advantage in this game so i should not come out with an air uh, with a win i am plus one but I'm working against the rules of my own rules, which <laughs> the rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. Unless, of course, it's to your advantage. I don't know what that is. Let's take. Um, I just need to give some space for something. For one of the rooks, at least. What's his plan? Coming here? No, he's coming down the bottom, but the knight is defending. Oh, he's coming for this pawn. He's coming for that pawn. Oh, man. Well, we've got two passes at least, I think. He's coming here. He's not coming there. Oh, what do we do now? Pawn majority. We leave it and then he splits his pawn but if he drops here then my king can't go anywhere can it and if my knight has to move for some reason and he gets here oh tricky situation um knight attacking rook comes down and takes takes one of the pawns off or oh, he actually puts a check on my king I'm going to have to do that. I can't just have the knight sat there doing nothing. Yeah, I'm going to attack the bishop 2 on 1. Oh, he's got that. I'm going to have to move the king. He's got that. Yeah, I'm going to have to move it. He's not down tempo, however, he can still move the bishop out of the way. I moved it and attacked the. Attacked my rook. I can go and attack his bishop, but then he just um, takes there. Uh, let's put a check on the king. Ooh, maybe not. Take that pawn. <sighs> Gotta be something. Come on, there's got to be something now. I feel like there's, there's a benefit. Yes, he's going to get this pawn. My rook can't actually come and defend here, can it? If I went here, then I could go and defend the pawn. I feel like the knight could just take this pawn, though. Hmm. Right, so if the knight takes, he takes. Then the knight takes, so I'm taking away his pawn majority, and then he comes behind this pawn or goes up here to attack this pawn here. So I'm losing pawns on my, my majority side as well. Hmm, don't know if I like them apples. Whereas if we moved here, then he takes, then we go here, then we're defending the pawn. What is he? Do, 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 do. Then he moves his pawn down. No, I don't like them apples. I'm taking the pawn. I'd rather lose these pawns on this side. Maybe save this one. Maybe yeah. Okay, let's grab. Yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't like that story. Did not like that story one bit. Okay. Right. So let's go here. Like I said, it can take all these pawns on this side. can spend so much time. It's probably crazy of me doing that, but in the end, we've got a pawn majority on this side. And he's grabbed anyway. Let's... Uh, do I lose a tempo? Oh, he's got a white square bishop, you know. You have to be careful. Okay, let's go here. And both pieces are on white squares. can just jump up here. Ooh, what's happening? Interesting. Right. 
So we can come back and defend the pawn. Or could put a check on the king. But we put a check on the king, it's one of those not useless steps, but it's like he just goes here, doesn't it? But then we'll put a check on no, he can't put a check on there. I think we just go back and defend the pawn then, don't we? Oh we don't though, because we lose the knight. Let's go here and attack the bishop. Get it off the board. He's not going to give the bishop up. He's going to be moving somewhere. Puts a check on. No, 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 no. We don't want to. Oh, we don't want to see any of that stuff. Let's go here. He's grabbing pawns. We go for a mamby pamby check. And he goes here, then we go here. Then he dances. Oh, maybe. Is there something? Pin. Pin on the bishop. Pin on the bishop. Move the king out of the way. He's going to put a check on us with his rook. Time's running down, we're on 3 minutes 20 at the moment, so we're going to have to speed up a bit. Yep, yeah, let's put the check on, on a dark square, so there's no fancy bishop checks and stuff going on. He's looking to get his bishop to attack this white square somehow though, um, will he lose his knight though, his rook sorry. Let's push. Let's come for this pawn with his rook. Oh, and he's resigned. Damn, another. That was, that was quite nice for a game positional play. Uh, we didn't do anything too grand in that game. It's just about getting those appropriate positions. So I'm really quite pleased with that. Quick shifty, and then that'll be it for today. So we look again. We're looking to see if there's major dips, that type of thing, things to work on. New, th well, not new things, but if there's anything glaringly obvious. So we were playing the just play what you know type thing, and we did bring in the. Not mistake to take, but you know, capturing where absolutely necessary in this game. So I felt really quite happy with that, but I just want to see what the computer thought of it. So we attacked the bishop, brought the knight up, brought the knight up, attacking their knight, and then we were thinking of taking the knight, but then we brought it back. What's happened there? Then we brought it back. Computer doesn't like us bringing it back. It's saying we should have taken the <laughs> should have taken the knight. Reason why I didn't want to take the knight was because I didn't really want to get their queen into this position here. Looking for that cheap, looking for the cheap thing here with the queen here. Then the bishop coming across here, that type of thing. So I wanted to really not bother doing that. Computer's not happy with it. I felt okay with it, it felt very good. The opponent didn't take advantage of whatever advantage they had, so we blocked it up. And then we captured the bishop. Okay, right, there we go. Yeah, I think the rationale for me not taking the knight, I'm still gonna stand, <clears throat> stand me in good stead because the amount of times I have seen the queen coming across here and then the bishop coming for this cheapy and it does cause a little bit of a problem in terms of your position on the board because your king is home alone my pieces are on the other side of the board and my king is over here so I, I, yeah I'll take that one with a pinch of salt I'm, I'm going to stick with what we did we we're practicing what we know and we've added in that new thing and 
just because the computer doesn't like it doesn't mean that it's not favorable because the opponent has to find <coughs> those killer moves that the engine is suggesting and sometimes those killer moves are harder to see via the human eye okay so let's see how we're doing so far so it's showing bits of advantages as we're going feeling quite good losing a bit of advantage there with the rug thing coming across mm, bishop takes oh yeah yeah we did say that didn't we um should have taken the pawn and got a little bit too excited there so we knew that that's fine and just pushing through here oh, now this is where the rooks were coming in the center of the board <laughs> oh, oh it's got an advantage for us oh scary times ouch Oh, it's an advantage plus three, so that's quite good. Okay, so we weathered the storm. Um, we looked at the blind spots and we dealt with what needed to be dealt with. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm really quite pleased with that. Maneuver in the night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? is that <gasps> rook f2 oh Ooh. is it a winning thing though it must be look at the gauge bar on that it's saying king g2 g g1 <gasps> oh my days where if I'd have gone here? Rook takes F4. Oh, the knight. Oh, shocking. It's basically saying that's the only. Oh, look at that. That's a nice check. <laughs> I missed that. It's a good job we do these evaluations. Oh, my days look at that and I did say that that was a this pawn structure they had there was a worry and getting it there is going to be dangerous oh, but it's not saying it's if I'd have seen that then that would have been better rather than moving my king oh yeah I lost my knight oh shocking and there's, um, you know, this is why we do the evaluation. Because it's alright feeling good about the game, but... Ah, oh, gutted now, gutted. Right, okay, fair enough. I don't need to see any more now, because obviously we've got advantage in the game. Because they've missed that opportunity. Although they've still got it. No more, because the knight has moved now. Yes, I didn't see that. That was an invisible... That was a beautiful invisible maneuver they could have put on me there and I didn't even spot that. Good training exercise. Nice one. I'll catch you soon.